courtesy of Instagram communication, supposedly, supposedly, Instagram are looking at bringing back the chronological feed, supposedly. Now, most of the reason why they're doing that, I think, again, from being a heavy Instagram user in the past, and also kind of being a little bit of a dabbler here and there, I just probably go on on the weekends when I'm fucked or when I want to post pictures of myself partying and shit. But for the most part, I'm not really big on the whole Instagram day to day. But from time I used to use it before to time now, I could notice the big difference for me has generally been this kind of um, forced feed they give you, where a lot of the feed they give you isn't chronological. It's basically marketing or kind of ads that you get placed on your feed. It's people you don't follow. It's many different things where right, they kind of go into why your feed is the way it is. Maybe your discover. I've found sometimes my discovery page is a little bit more interesting than my actual feed, even though I follow quite a lot of people. I think I follow nearly 900, nearly 1,000 people. But I find my feed more interesting because usually I engage a lot on instagram so i'll double tap things i'll leave comments so usually that'll go into kind of dictate how my algorithm works right or however many tablets hover up on a picture whatever however it works my discovery feed i think is better than my actual feed feed mainline timeline feed and it feels like forever for the longest time people have been pushing and asking instagram please return the chronological feed but they've been kind of holding tight to it similar to how netflix doesn't want to you know release their streaming numbers or whatever data to create is because they feel like that's their main ip right that's their main kind of strength that's what they can kind of use to kind of dictate how much they pay people and if they give it up then you're going to be able to demand way more i mean it's kind of smart to keep that cost to your chest but the chronological feed it felt like they were doing that because they need to justify you know the exorbitant rates of the, the facebook ads right if you give people chronological feed it's quite difficult then to kind of place ads on it because people are just going to ignore them and just keep going to see other people's stuff but if you can kind of fling in ads you can fling in content from people you don't follow it kind of makes the ads make a bit more sense how they're priced because you can say hey if you spend this much money you could also do this what this guy did i get the idea behind it but in terms of enjoying the app it doesn't work which is why i feel like they're doing this because clearly people are spending less time on instagram especially the feed i feel like people especially myself included, I sometimes can spend my whole time going through my friends' Instagram stories or just going on my actual discovery page kind of thing then spending time on the main homepage feed i don't spend any time on it whatsoever if i see something that i like in the first two posts because i think i've noticed that too if you've noticed on instagram sometimes when you log in you'll find something super dead on what you're thinking about or interested in in the main two or three posts or five posts that you may see on your main feed because I feel like they, they kind of tweak the algorithm so much so it's precise in what it gives you on your main feed because you don't really go on it too tough so they want to grab your attention as soon as you open an Instagram account but sometimes it's hot and cold sometimes it's really good sometimes it's really bad but I think because of that they've realized not a lot of people are staying on that feed they're trying to now increase that engagement by giving you the chronological order thing because people want it if they're going to follow their friends on especially if they've got private accounts and shit there's no point of giving them that advertising thing because you know it doesn't matter because they've got private accounts they only follow their family and friends so the chronological feed is going to be more interesting to them because they're going to probably use it more often so this is what they said on instagram via their communication channel so on twitter sorry instagram said we want people to have meaningful control over their experience we've been experimenting with favorites a way for you to decide whose posts you want to see higher up and we're working on another option to see posts from people you follow in a chronological order we want to clear sorry we want to be clear that we're creating new options providing people with more choices so that they can decide what works best for them not switching everyone back to chronological feed you can expect more from this early next year so they're giving you the option to opt in, opt out, regardless of it, right? And there's a bit more information on it, a bit more meat to the bones, courtesy of The Verge. It says here, Adam Mosseri, obviously the guy that was on The Breakfast Club recently, explains how Instagram is bringing back the chronological feed. Instagram's um, head, Instagram, sorry, Instagram's head, sorry, Adam Mosseri, used a story, his story to answer people's questions about the company's plan to bring back the much missed chronological feed. I also want them to bring back Instagram stories via location. Search, please, for the love of God. That was one of my main things I used to love checking out because you get to see loads of different you can get to be, get to be a voyeur on many different club scenes around the world during the weekend see who was playing see what happened like, it was fucking amazing <clears throat> now they don't now it's not a setting anymore if you're wondering what it is basically on your instagram stories whether you tag the location or use like a hashtag via instagram stories via if you to search you could search via instagram stories only and it could show you the last kind of 24 hours of people uploading pictures you know at this location at this festival you know duh, 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 duh. and usually it's a great way to kind of see it behind the scenes or kind of see that real time what was happening at that place especially if you wanted to go to a club and you didn't know if it was full or not if you didn't know if the vibe was cool you could just quickly check your instagram stories search thing whatever and you could see what everyone was uploading it was super super sick i loved it um but they took it off recently hopefully they bring it back 
It says here, um, which he promised during his appearance at the Senate hearing on Wednesday. In a Q&A feed, or, sorry, in a Q&A on Friday, he said that the company is testing two versions of the feature and that it's targeting early next year as a release window. One version of the chronological feed will let you pick your favorites and then show them up on top of the chronological order, which again is long because if you've got many people you follow, how, how do you decide who your favorites are? The other option would let you just see the post from everyone you're following in the chronological order, though it didn't mention how recommended posts will be intercepted. And again, if you can have an option just to show it normal feed and chronological feed but then have kind of recommended posts flipped in there with the tag recommended i don't mind it's just the fact that there's no option to see chronological order it's all recommended and it's all ads that's what makes the feed home feed thing really um a bad kind of experience to be on a bad thing to kind of interact with it's just not good so give me the option to see chronological feed and if you want to insert your recommended posts in there to keep your ads up and to make sure people get paid i don't mind um, da, 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 there's some screenshots of him talking about it and um, he says when a follow-up question was asked Masiri um, then the feature would show up he said it wouldn't be too long and that Instagram is already testing favorites idea he said that the full chronological mode would what would come shortly after hopefully the Instagram story search thing happens too please um, reiterating a tweet from Instagram on Wednesday Masiri makes it clear the company isn't ditching the algorithm feed to revert back to one that is in order and it would like Twitter where you can choose which version you like we're not moving away from ranking altogether we're going to okay so I guess some people do enjoy the algorithmic whatever algo algorithmic algorithmic feed that is at the moment because you know if you engage with content and you leave comments you like and you retweet and shit it is quite nice to see the algorithm kind of turn and change based on your interactions and kind of give you stuff they, they think you might be interested in and for the most part it's quite accurate but again if you're somebody that kind of does want to just see the content from the people that you actually follow especially somebody that makes a separate account and just wants to follow the people that post those things and want to see in order it's kind of annoying when you see a post that's been posted four days ago do you know what I mean just because you didn't like it they keep reminding you to see it all the time it's just annoying um, in his Q&A which was, you can see in the four below Masiri also answered questions about Instagram plans for its up and coming parental control feature as well as his time and the senate you can read more about his testimony on child safety okay cool i'm gonna read the whole listen to the whole thing later hopefully he spoke about instagram locations but that was pretty cool to see that he answered those things so hopefully we're gonna see the um reintroduced reintroduction sorry of the chronological feedback on instagram very very soon um hopefully it will make the experience better again they're only doing it because people are basically not opening the app as much as they were in the past let's just be honest about that tiktok has definitely overtaken instagram in terms of the daily entertainment value even myself i don't even post on tiktok that much but i find myself on there a lot wasting a lot of time it's a real good time sink if you do want to just you know if you're on the shitter and you want to watch some crazy shit definitely check out tiktok it's just people just take yourself less seriously on there it's way more fun um you can definitely see some stuff that you don't necessarily see on other platforms i think that's why tiktok is really good too similar to it's similar to twitter in that respect the stuff that you see on twitter is definitely specific for that platform such as same as tiktok where i feel like instagram people just kind of reshare what they see on tiktok and twitter or on facebook it's ne ne not necessarily content only specifically made for instagram do you know what i mean so i think that's why they're basically suffering so again they're only doing it self-servingly but i don't mind as long as it comes pause <laughs> then we'll be fine in that regard <laughs> we'll be fine but yeah let's continue there what 